Captain's Log. Stardate 050505050. I have come into a terrible, terrible wasteland where smoke fills the air and the very fumes that the people and citizens breathe are toxic to their souls. It is known as Los Angeles. This strange world is one that I must explore. Space. These are the voyages. Hey, I'm Chris. And I'm Matt. And I'm Felicity. And we are Anim Fantastic, Fantastic here at Kamikaze 2013. Let's go meet some superheroes. Now, in terms of hero responsibilities, I know you're at Stan Lee's Kamikaze, so you're surrounded by a Marvel presence. But uh, would you steal that, say that they're stealing your superhero thunder at all? Uh, not at all. It's all good guys versus bad guys. That's what it is. If they want to team up, anytime. Do so you think you can teach me how to do some of your moves? OK. And also the viewers watching well, at home? Water bending. Okay. It's a lot of, uh, it's all in the wrist. It's in the wrist, guys. It, it's like water. Ooh, OK. Air bending, a little more circular. Okay. Earth okay. bending. Comes from the ground. You want to stomp your feet, Rah. and then kick it out. Okay. There you go, just like I, that. I'm not as good. I'm here with Skeletor. Skeletor, uh, what have you been doing for the last like 15 years? You know, reality TV shows, um, yeah. Oprah. You know, they asked me to go into uh, AMC's Walking Dead, but you know, I'm not a zombie. I'm just a skele blue skeleton. Anything that you're looking forward to at the con, or anything specific that you've seen that has been awesome? I have already met RuPaul, LeVar Burton, Edward James Olmos, a Dalek, and a gentleman from Buffy. So I'm kind of good now, and I'm just enjoying the art. Have you run into any lurks at this con? Surprisingly few. Had to slay a few earlier, but not that many. I understand if not, but would I be able to hold the scythe? Doesn't like boys very much, but you can... <laughs> Ma'am, what is this environment? I feel so lost. There are very many strange alien creatures walking around. Yes. I, they seem to be friendly, though. They are very nice. Some seem to be friendly, but others are wielding swords. I don't know who I can trust. That confused us a lot in beginning, too. They are doing something which is called, I believe the word is cosplay. Cosplay. Play. Cosplay. We tried to look it up. The computers, unfortunately, isn't linked to the Starfleet database as before, but they have something similar called Wikipedia. Oh. And it said that cosplay is supposed to represent costume play. Costume I haven't noticed anyone play. playing, but they're walking around. I am here with Ariel, who formerly uh, lived in the sea. She just moved here. I see that now you have two legs. Um, you were you were a mermaid before, right? Uh, yes, I was a mermaid. But now you also got your voice back. How did that happen? I do. Um, I got kissed by my love, oh, Eric. Oh my god, Eric? Oh, is he here? He's so dreamy. He is actually running around doing Prince things. What do you think of this? You know, is this like a whole? Is this a whole new world you were this imagining when you when you sang that song and that rock so awesomely? Yeah, it's <laughs> definitely a whole new world. Um, I mean, what is that word? Uh, um, are awesome. How are the dwarves doing? Oh, yes, well, Dopey's on dope, so he doesn't want to come. How about uh, Sleepy? Sle he's, of course, sleeping. He's on Zoloft or some kind of Vicodin, I don't know. So things have kind of taken a turn for the worse at yes. the house there. Yes, there's an eighth dwarf, and he's over there. His name's Chubby and he eats all the food. Now, have you guys run into any situations where you had to activate with the X-Men so far at this kamikaze? When we first got here, Magneto and his, uh, his troop showed up, the Brotherhood, and we had to uh, you know, take care of them. But everything is safe and these citizens are okay? Let's just say that they were on their way out. I've noticed no harm, no anything, other than their penance for overcharging for food. It's been quite entertaining. Do you mean the replicators are down? Yes, sir, unfortunately. Can't get a good racchettino anywhere on this planet. Damn! Uh, Damn! Uh, 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 uh. Do you know the dance, the Bartman? I don't. All I remember is that one way part. Everybody, if you can do the Bartman, take your body, turn it out. It if you can, can. I see that you're not here with Quail Dog. Is he around somewhere? Quail Dog is out on the floor right now. He's doing some reconnaissance for us. So he's out there 
not defending the citizens of Kamikaze, but rather going and getting swag. Of course. Since this is Kamikaze Stanley Marvel, what is your favorite Marvel film or character and why? Favorite character? That is a rough one. I, I love all the new movies, all the comic book Avengers. movies that are coming out. Is it's, it's so awesome. I think the whole Comic-Con phenomenon is a really awesome thing because mm -hmm. it's it's inviting all the people, whereas before it was like, oh, only the nerds go there. But now it's something, there's there, there's something here for everyone, which I think is really awesome. You're like genuinely geeky, you know? Thank and I you. really love meeting other girls that are like just as geeky as me because it makes oh, me feel yay. not weird. Yay. It makes me feel not weird and it makes me feel like, I like whenever I come to these things, it feels like I'm coming home and I'm sure you have the similar feeling. So it's home just great. Home. It is. Yeah. I'm here with Joshua Watts at Clockwork Couture. Hi, nice to meet you. Now, Josh, you guys don't know, started out as a uh, ArcLight executive dude, and then now a grand store owner of Clockwork Couture. Tell us a little bit how it got started. Uh, well, my wonderful wife, Donna, she uh, started this in our garage in 2008. She said, this is going to be the next big thing. And from that, it kind of grew. We took over the front of our duplex. Uh, after the duplex, we moved into uh, our storefront about a year ago. Did Burbank give you trouble about having a TARDIS out in the front? When we went to the clerk, they said, uh, what, what is it you're building? I don't understand. Are you it sounds like a shed. Are you building a shed? Because you don't need a permit for a shed. I said, yes, that's exactly what we're building. We're building a shed. <laughs> I'm here with Omar and Mia, known as the Two Broke Geeks on YouTube. How are you guys? Pretty great. Good, good. Awesome. Now, if you... <laughs> Such lame answers. <laughs> now, guys, if you had to describe this Kamikaze experience in a few words, what would it be? Fun. Ooh, that's good. Fan. Mm. Tastic. Ooh, fun, fantastic. <laughs> Mia Rosella. Uh, familiar. Ooh. Friends. And dreams coming true. Speaking of dreams coming true, uh, you guys were on your first ever panel. Can you tell us a little bit about that? That was so awesome because we always go to conventions as just straight geeks, being like, I need to go sit on all the panels, but then we were the panel. We were the panel. <laughs> what does geek mean to each of you? There's like traditional definitions, sort of. Uh, they're all arguable, but of like being geeky and being, being nerdy, I think a lot of them are outdated. One thing that we don't really take into consideration when people talk about it is the positivity. And a lot of it isn't just like, oh yeah, I know a lot about Doctor Who, you don't. It's, no, this is a man who chases the nightmares away and I want to do that for other people. <laughs> It was awesome. It was cool. Everyone was like really like jazzed to be there and like a bunch of friends asked questions and everyone was laughing and having a good time and it just felt good. It was just like Disneyland in like a room without rides. I totally thought that there would be nobody there also. So my expectations were blown out of the water that there was like a real audience. Yeah. I told all of my friends to come please because it's going to be totally empty, but it wasn't. Yep, it was packed to the brim. So we have maybe two hours left at con. What are you guys going to use the time for? Shopping, probably. We're doing a video on like all the broke tips for the con, and Sunday is the day to shop because people are doing all the deals and they need to get rid of their stuff. I just bought five shirts for twenty dollars. Whoa, oh my! What's your uh, exit con plan? I've got a few dollars left, so I'm probably gonna hang on Arse Alley and try to get uh, as many things for little money as possible, and then probably spend like 45 minutes just staring at the Iron Man suits at the museum. That's what's really cool about Kamikaze is there's like Hollywood stuff here because they don't have to transport it anywhere. It was probably already here. They probably shot Iron Man 2 here, and then of course hanging out with Adam Fantastic on the bridge of the Enterprise. That's us. Awesome. <laughs> We're pals. We all know each other. Aww. Aww. Let's go watch some Buffy. Oh. These are the voyages. Voyages.